Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some more palettes that I am saying goodbye to. If you hear any chatter or you hear any like chewing, I've got Luna in her crate right next to me. She's got a bone, so just bear with us if she's a little bit loud. But I have been on the sidelines, in the background, testing out more of the palettes in my collection, and I have two more that just haven't withstood the test of time. And I've got to admit that right now, I've not yet, as of 2019, found a palette in my collection that I've tested that I have been like over the moon in love with. Not every single palette has been decluttered, but not all of them are making the list. I've been very cutthroat. So let's talk about the first palette that I have from Too Faced, and that is the Everything Nice palette. This was out in, according to the back of the box, 2014. So this puppy is officially five years old. Backstory for a second. But this, this was one of the first introductions to Christmas collections that I really knew about. I did not know that companies came out with like whole Christmas like collaborations and sets and kits and specialty limited edition items. So post Christmas, this was still hanging around and I couldn't believe why it would be. This was before I was watching like anything but mostly just unboxing videos. I wasn't watching a lot of in-depth reviews. So I feel like had I watched some of those, I maybe wouldn't have bought this. You basically have a book and on the one side you have all of these eyeshadows, you have like some mattes, mostly shimmers and like metallic-y type shades. And then down here, you had a little book of what to do with some of these looks. You had a face brush, you have two shadow brushes. You've got essentially two blushes, a highlight, and then you have a bronzer. So I bought this palette because I thought it would be really fun to have these different colors. It would be fun to have some face products. Like I was super jazzed about it. And I used it pretty consistently when I first got it, but I pretty much found it to be relatively overwhelming. And so then I eventually just like put it back in my collection. Um, I considered panning this for, um, I think it was 2018. I think. One of the things I thought about panning, and then in the end I decided not to, and I put it back. So I pulled it out because I really wanted to be focusing a lot on my bigger palettes, palettes that take up a lot more space because if I don't like them, I want them gone. And if I do like them, I think I want to make it a priority to use more of them first because they are more space consuming. So I started working with this and I was just finding that most of these shades were really dry. Like they were dry and flaky and it was hard to pack like color on the lid. You know, for example, Mobulus, which is probably like a perfect type of lid color for me. I just like couldn't quite build it up for it to have impact. And I was just like doing layer and layer and layer and it just felt like too much work. Um, my plan though is I'm going to be keeping Turtle Dove and Heaven because those are basically just cream colors and I don't expect a lot out of those. They're basically just like my my initial layering down of shadow and then I do a lot of blending over I feel like it does help my shadows blend a little bit easier so I am gonna try and pop these two out if they don't pop out cleanly no love lost it's gonna be fine but I just felt like for how big this palette is for how frequently I was pulling it out I just didn't feel like the performance of it justified keeping it and then when I spent time down here at this half of the palette like for example, Chocolate Soleil is too dark for me. They do have, I think, a lighter version of it, but like I don't need any more bronzers, especially one that's not my shade. These three products here are super like glittery shimmery and that is just not my jam. And so I figured like there's no sense in trying to pop these out and test them and play with them more because they're just not as great as the current face powders that I have in my current collection. And then these brushes never really did a whole lot for me. I don't feel like they're my style of how I prefer to apply product. So all in all, I mean, the only thing I can say is that at least I didn't pay full price for this because this is a lot of product that I'm saying goodbye to and I didn't get much use out of my money, but it does feel good to be getting rid of something bulky like this from my collection. So I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. Like, were you guys ever intrigued by this? Um, I have since, just as a small roundup side tangent, I have since found that I feel like Too Faced Christmas collections 
aren't really that good of quality. And ever since this one, I've watched a lot of reviews on Too Faced Christmas stuff and I've never heard great things. So I've never pursued a Christmas palette or collection since The then. second palette that I'm decluttering for this video, I have gone back and forth about since January. And I just finally this morning was looking at it and thought, you gotta let it go, Victoria. You just gotta let this go. It shouldn't be this much of a procedure to decide if you like a palette or not. And that is the Naked 3. I am flabbergasted that I am saying goodbye to this because the first ever pan that palette that I did was a Maybelline palette that was basically the dupe of this. But I always felt like I just preferred the color tones in there I, and I don't know why because this is the original not the Maybelline one but here's what this is when I first saw this palette come out I was like yes this is so lovely for my skin tone like this is right up my alley I'm gonna get so much use out of this and I would watch so many tutorials on YouTube that I would try to recreate on my eyes and I never felt like they looked as beautiful as the people on the YouTube videos and then I had a sorority sister who literally like panned this it was like the only palette she owned she loved it I, I always loved her eyeshadow and it was from this palette so I kept going back and being like why can't I get those looks? Like, why can't I seem to love the effect of this on me? And I think part of it is just that the colors don't translate as beautifully on my eyes as they do in the pans. Like, for example, Dust, I love this color. But this color is basically just an inner lid color and that's not how I apply shadow. I do not painstakingly put any kind of color on my inner tear duct because I always rub in there. It's just how I know that about myself and so I never bother putting any shadow there. But as a lid color this is atrocious. Like you dig and you dig and you dig and you put some on. It doesn't really like build up to any kind of color. Like it's just not designed for that. And then I go to a color like Burnout and Burnout looks really similar to Dust, maybe a hair darker, and it's just like too dark. Like for me, it just doesn't look super great as a all over the lid kind of color. And so I just, I'm tired. I'm tired of fussing with this. I pull it out to use it and I'm like, ugh, how am I gonna use this? Will I even like the eyeshadow look? Probably not. And I just don't feel like I, should do, I should feel that way like that to me is not what makeup has ever been and I don't want it to be so I just think that it's time to part with the Naked 3 which is so ridiculous because this is another palette that I paid full price for and let's not forget I bought the original Naked palette before they totally got rid of it and now I'm really wondering if that was as stupid as I thought it was going to be to do because I'm decluttering other Naked palettes that I was always drawn to and prior to the big clearancing out and the whole like we're swearing off this palette from Urban Decay like I bought into all of that I was never as drawn to the Naked palette. So now I'm really curious if I'm gonna end up decluttering that. I haven't, I haven't used it. I'll be sure with you guys, I haven't used it. Um, I was trying to look more at my older palettes before I dug into that one and made a decision about it and I just haven't gotten around to it. So another one bites the dust. You know, I have mixed feelings about the whole decluttering process. On the one hand, I'm like, I get it. Don't waste your time or don't make yourself miserable panning things that you don't like. And on the other hand, I'm like, get your money's worth out of things. So I, I definitely fall in the middle with my feelings, but I think in the end, when it comes to eyeshadow, I just don't have enough eyes to put all the shadow on. So I have to be really honest with myself. And if I'm being honest, these two palettes just don't make the cut. And, and for that reason, they're out of here. So I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. If you were surprised to see me declutter either of these or your thoughts about the palettes in general, but I'll talk to you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.